Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pie King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. We're here to talk about gameplay, online glitches, game modes, virtual currency, animations, and presentations. And I got my boy in the building. This is regular Dave coming at you with another video. I had to just throw that in there, man. I'm sorry about that. It's, it's all good, man. I want my fans and my subscribers and friends to all know who my boy regular Dave is. One of the members of the core for a GFS. If you guys don't know who GFS is, it's Game Face Studios. It's our community channel that we run. Me, Waza Now, X Chase Money, and regular Dave sitting here himself are the core four. And, you know, it's only right that made him do a video. Now, let's jump into the topic at hand, NBA 2K13. Dave, first impressions, real quick. Gameplay, man. Gameplay is off the chain, man. I'm not going to pull any punches. I've been hearing people talk about certain problems and whatnot. When we talk about gameplay, man, of a, of a sports simulation video game, man, I think NBA 2K13 is unmatched. I, You know, for, for my money, it's the best gameplay in a, in a simulation sports that I've ever played. So what you're saying is for that $60, you would have actually got on your hands and knees for this game well see now you may have gone too far right there <laughs> <laughs> but but we all know last year man we can't you know what i mean that's the small like thing you know what i mean people don't want to bring up but we all know last year man suffered from some issues i remember you was telling the story where you had threw your controller on the ground and that bounced back up like <laughs> oh yeah instant rage instant rage um i actually got a plus five stamina for that <laughs> it was crazy but yeah so the gameplay man it's just i guess the best way for me to explain it is freedom man it feel like you're not locked into stuff man the game flows like to give you an example me and my brother played first game out the box just opened it up threw it in i played my brother like we used to do at the house when we was little played a man we didn't know what we was doing the controls and the game still flow we still had fun even not knowing what we were doing yeah, I could definitely feel that. Now, what I like about the gameplay so much is the difference in the control stick and the regular, you know, stick that they had last year, NBA 2K12. Now, this year, like you said, you don't have to be experienced to pull off ankle breakers and get to the rim. There may be those times where you may have done a little bit too many extra moves and you still get stuck in place. But if you take out one of those moves, it's an instant lane to the rim. Also, another thing about gameplay is it's 10 times better than 2K12. Your teammates are active all day long. They're doing what they need to do as offensive players and teammates. Of course, you can run a show. You can beat Kobe. You can get 50. But you can make Kobe get 10 assists. A man that's not known for passing the ball, you can make him get 10 assists easily. Because in this game, a player will cheat over. And if that player cheats... And you got a three-point shooter, somebody like Ryan Artest, Steve Nash, Steve Blake, somebody sitting on a wing, that's that's an instant three all day long. But as far as I'm concerned, gameplay to me is 10 times better than 2K12. A lot of people want to compare it to 2K11. We can't compare it to a game that's two years old. So with that being said, I think we should move on. How about you? Wait, I want to say one more thing about the gameplay. Okay. At first, I thought it was going to take a while for me to get used to the dribble stick and the shot stick being on a, you know what I mean, on the same stick. But actually, man, by the end of the, the the first game I played, man, I wasn't even thinking about hitting the trigger when I wanted to shoot it. It, it just came natural. I thought that was something that, you know what I mean, wasn't going to come natural. And it was like, man, it's going to be a nightmare. But actually, it's not that difficult. And it comes natural after you play for a while. Exactly. It feels much more realistic to you having to touch the trigger when it's time to shoot opposed to you having to hold the trigger and letting it go when you have to shoot. I, yeah, it's, exactly, so, it's exactly. so much more smoother like that. Now, we want to move on to a next topic, which is online. And we can do a little bit of slash gameplay, slash servers, but main, mainly the meat of this is going to be online, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Dave, your first impressions and thoughts on online. Man, I've, I've been running with my against my brother and the homie that how we used to do back in the day. And I haven't had too many hiccups, man. I know 2K is notorious for the bad servers, man. They got that reputation. I remember I seen a video years back, man, a couple years on YouTube, um, just with how terrible the servers are. I haven't run into the problems. I haven't really, like, just went all the way, as, as my man Wiser would say. I haven't just went balls deep online. Right. But I haven't run into a whole bunch of problems. But what, what's your experience looking like? Okay, well, I have played one 3v3 match. 
Um, I just decided to try to get the core together that was on my OU Man High squad. Um, this is on PS3, though. This wasn't on Xbox. We got online. We played a nice, fluid game. Nobody lagged out. Nobody quit. No, It just was a, a nice game. The matchmaking was perfect. I, add, I went to the lobby. I added my friends to my squad, and then we went into another lobby and played against these people. It was, it was so chill. It was easy. But one thing I will say, a lot of people have been having a lot of problems with associations online, team up online, and even quick matches online. Now, of course, you said you played the homies. Your homies must got beast internet because the people that I've been talking to have been saying glitches like the, the whole entire scoreboard is missing on a quick match. Or if you oh, go. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, actually, you know what? My brother told me he <laughs> played somebody online and they didn't know what the score was. Like, it never came up. That's and that, I was like, what? Yeah, like a couple people, like, that even happened to me in a regular game at GameStop for Midnight Release. I was playing one of the boys that, like, he literally knew who I was. I was playing him, and we like, yo, where'd the scoreboard go? He like, oh, I don't know. That joint, I probably turned it off. I said, you can't turn off a scoreboard. <laughs> and so we, we kept having to press start the entire match trying to figure out what the score was. He beat me by a million, though. He had the Bulls. I had the Sixers. It was no match. Like, yo, wait, wait. Did, did, did he ask you to sign this copy, though? Nah, nah. It wasn't that deep. He, he a real young boy, so... Like he wasn't no fanboy. Oh, okay. it, 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 that's <laughs> but basically, um, to get back to online, the next thing is my team. I heard that you can go into my team, right? And play a couple games and things like that. And what will happen is you can get plus fifty, plus three hundred points, but lag out of a game. And it'll count to your V C. Wait, my team, that's like that that ultimate team. Ex that, yeah, exactly. Right? I've I've been getting a lot of info from people. All around telling me the certain things that have been going on with this online nonsense. Also, another thing to shed light on the online community. This dude named, I think his name is NYC The Future. Hit me up in the Twitter DM. Me and him going to do another video soon. It's going to be about bashing 2K in their online. The thing is with the association mode, they want their playbooks. They want, they want a lot of things inside the online that 2K didn't give them. Uh, 2K, even though they didn't make any promises, they hinted. That things were going to get a whole lot better, and it's just more of the same, I've heard. So, as, as far as it goes for online, people have said that they've lagged out of games and that the scoreboard is missing. But in my experience, online has worked. Maybe, you know, the, the online store hasn't worked with the VC where I try to buy an item. But other than that, me playing up against somebody head-to-head, -head, I've had no problems. How about you? Nah, no, no problems. I did notice, though. The homie came up with a little quick fix. Every time it kind of got slow and laggy, he just pressed pause and it started it right back up. And I, that must, I don't know, it does something to stop the lag. I don't know if, like, if you're playing like online ranked, if that'll help. Because you, you only get so many pauses, right, when you're playing ranked? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but if you just play the homies, then yeah, you hit, if you hit pause and then start it right back up, it stops the lag. Oh, that's nice. I hope, I hope you guys were listening on that point. That's a great point you might want to try out. But um, I know that we talked about one big glitch in the whole scoreboard online. But let's jump into glitches. Have you actually seen or experienced any glitches in this game besides the scoreboard that you've heard about? Man, I haven't. Well, yeah, that's the only one. I haven't heard about really anything. But my experience is just like, you know, my career, which everybody is on. Right. Um, and, and playing the homies. We ain't really, you know, the, the dudes I play against, they ain't trying to, they ain't trying to glitch the game. <laughs> but until, until you take it online with the masses, which I haven't done... That's when you start finding uh, finding out about the glitches. Yeah. Now, um, I've experienced maybe about three to four glitches. This is in my career. This is in a game. Things of that nature. The first glitch that I've noticed is that a defender does not get a blocking call if he pushes you out of bounds at all. You can literally be running up the sideline, minding your own business, about to start your play. He can come up and play an intense D and push you out of bounds and they go going the other way. Yeah, Every but is that a glitch time. though? I don't know if that's a that's, glitch because I had that. I got a back court like that. Okay, like, you know, I'm, I'm 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 bringing the ball up the court. He bodies me. I take a step back, which should have been a foul, but they it, called a back court. Exactly, that's a glitch in the game because inside the game last year on 2K12, they call blocking calls every single time. If you will bump a guy back, they will call that black and foul. This year, they just say, you know what? We're not going to call fouls because it's so much contact in this game. 
that it's no need to. That's another glitch I've seen. It's so much contact. You would literally think every player is supposed to go to the line every single play. And like in 2K12, when you used to get those stupid bump animations, you used to be mad that you didn't go to the line. This year, they said, okay, this is what we'll do. We'll stop the stupid animations. We'll add you being able to get the layup off, but we're still not going to call the foul. Yeah, yeah, they let they let a lot go. Every game is like a playoff game. They just let you play. Exactly. It's like if you play head up for some bread, you really got to turn the foul sliders up if you really want to play realistic. And Wait, you out here playing? You out here playing for dough? Uh, oh, why not? Right, hey. Yeah, no, I ain't man. got it like that. I'm just saying. Hey, listen, at Express, when we at work, man, we got the PS2, the PS3, and the Xbox on deck. Hey, I need to watch. I need to watch some of them iPod King Carter tutorials before I start <laughs> coming about the cheese. Hey, man, tutorials will come later. But another glitch I've seen. Oh man, what happened? Oh, I was in a press conference. Um, now I think this guy was either my coach or something like that. But he looked like he was about eight feet tall. <laughs> he was mad brolic. He was husky. And he was just sitting on the side, like, shaking his head, like, man, I can't wait to get out of here, man. I'm going to give me some cheeseburgers. <laughs> I ain't seen nah, nothing like that. Yeah, hey, so, I got a glitch to throw at you. How about Carmelo Anthony making every shot he ever attempts? Like, oh. I, I think that's a glitch. Man, I don't know. I play a lot. Of, I play against the homies, man. They they both Knicks fans. Man, I swear Carmelo Anthony shoot, like, 95% on that game. Of, of course, um, you got to check his signature skills. That's another big thing. Signature skills this year make a player unstoppable. If that player has the highest level in that signature skill, you might as well forget it. Kobe, his yo-yo is stupid. He gets to the rack. He finishes every time. He's a closer. It's just some of these players, you might think they're overpowered, but you really have to run certain schemes and, all, and defensive sets to stop a player. If you run man-to-man -man and he clears it out, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to have a problem on your hands. Exactly. You got to run your two threes, your one three ones, your three twos. You got to really set things up. If a man is coming down on the right side of the court and you're on the left side, call a two three. Get somebody to step up to him and get behind him in case he beats that defender. And if he passes over to the other side of the court, you're either there to take the cookies or you can just play up on that man because you've taken a star player out of his element. Never run man to man when you're playing an all star. It's that simple. That's that's the way I look at things. Yeah, man, I gotta get deeper into that because I man, I play that Olay defense. I just let him go right past me, man. I, <laughs> Olay, I, got, I got problems. Olay, just all this like red a, flag, like <laughs> red flag all day. <laughs> yeah, like Matador. <laughs> wow. But um, I guess since we don't have any more to uh, speak on the glitches, because of, oh, also one more glitch that I've heard about virtual currency glitch. But we'll talk about that when we jump into that. Um, what we want to talk about now is game modes. What are your favorite game modes? What do you think about those game modes? And will you try any more? Man, I used to not really. I used to be all just about association, man. I just wanted to play it. You didn't mean a career, like a, multiple seasons with my Lakers, and that's it. But, man, as I got into YouTube, man, my player, this year, I don't know, man, it seems especially off the chain. I don't know if it's because of the improved gameplay, but right now my career is consuming my time, man. I don't even know when I'm going to get to association, but I want to get my dude leveled up, man. I want to be, I want, basically, I want to be like iPod King Carter. <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm, I'm doing things different a little bit this year, man. I'm not battling for that 99 overall in one season. I'm actually going to play a My Career. That's what this mode is called, and I'm switching it up. Last year and the year was before, it was called My Player. All I was worried about was that man and getting to the promised land. But this year, it's about your career. It's about what you choose to do, your decisions, and that's what I'm going to follow. So I may be a 99 overall, but it'll take me a few years, maybe. Because uh, currently, the way I want to get it set up, I want to get the starting position, and then I want to start key gaming it. And you already know with key games comes certain stats, certain statistics, certain fan drops, certain team chemistry drops. So I'm gonna I'm take I'm gonna take what I can get. It's that simple. Yeah, man. My you, you trying to get your dude to a 99? I'm trying to get my dude to like an 85. 85. <laughs> the, Come way, on. the way I play, man, that's looking like where I'm gonna take it. Hey, to man, listen. My dude's gonna be a journeyman. He's gonna play all around the league. If you want to get to an 85, just get your awareness up on both sides of the ball. And you'll be at 85 with me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, what are the modes? You know what? Yesterday I threw in the um, downloadable content code I got on a receipt, man. I played that All-Star Weekend. Have you, have you got into that? Listen, I'm not even going to lie to you. I have not played Guitar Hero 2K. 
that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Look, I mean, I'm not gonna front. It's not the worst thing in the world, man. You know, it's it's free content. Well, yeah, pre-order is free. It's free content. You know what I mean? It's not. It's nothing that you're gonna do on a consistent basis. Right. It's something to check out, man. Yeah. It's something to check out. They, you know what? I I did kind of review it. What they what's good about like I played the dunk contest. What's good about the dunk contest? Are the announcers are excellent, man. They they criticize every dunk. Mm-hmm. If you do a dunk that that um somebody, somebody did, did before, it. they'll tell you like yeah. that we've seen this before. You gotta be creative, like man. The dunk contest, you know what? You play it once or twice, you got fun. But anything past that, man, is you know that's that's stretching it. Now nah, that's like fanboy. <laughs> like like you just a fanboy of certain players wanting to be in a dunk contest. Yeah, exactly. Right. I can't. I came out with a video for it. I didn't do any commentary. I let the commentators do their thing because I thought, just like you, it was awesome. You know, Blake Griffin did a dunk that uh, I think LeBron James did, and they were like, "Come on, bro, you're trying to win? Are you serious? You just did yeah, a dunk." Exactly. So I, I definitely like the way they did that. But as it goes for association mode, I will try to get into it because with my mod player, I'm not on the Sixers, but I do want to showcase the Sixers on my channel. So I definitely might do an association mode. And when it comes to my team, don't even talk to me about it. Um, if it if it don't have my crew, I'm I'm not really too worried about it. But three v three, blacktop, holla at me. I gotta get into that, man. I, that wasn't a mode I planned on playing, but I'm hearing, man. You know, I'm always on Twitter. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing that it's it's actually fun. Fun is listen. It's a dumbed down crew mode because of course you don't have an official name, you guys. But you what you can do is. All right, let's take let's put it like this. Now I know for a fact that Chase Money probably isn't gonna get the game, or he might just get the game just to touch it. But me, you, and Waza can actually build up a team. We can all have the same gear on. Like like say we pick a team. Like uh, let's just say okay, you're you're a Lakers fan, right? Absolutely. All right, just um R.I.P. But if I chose to you know go behind my sixes back and put on some lakers gear we can all come on the court with lakers gear on and play in uh you know in a nice setting so it's, it it has that feel of crew mode because it's three of you guys against another three and if you got that matching gear on they're gonna think y'all top of the line <laughs> wait let me let me ask you this thing since i haven't played black top because i know i know you a crew head i know that for sure yes sir now does is black top a good enough replacement for crew no it's something it's something to keep us guessing because one thing that they've done since they're storing all this vc online they're showing us that they're trying to update these servers and that they're trying to stop the hacking so th- i guess this right here may be the first step like at first I-, I ranted in my video i was totally pissed off at 2k but i'm starting to see that what they're trying to do is make progress because you know if you create a player with a mod on an xbox there you go. You're done. You know, you got an eight foot guy. He's a 99, no cap, and he's going ham on people online. What they're trying to do now is they're trying to stop it. That's why with this whole my player, my career setup, they only let you create one my player. You know, you like, did you notice when you created your guy, your name was already locked in? You yeah, could, yeah, you, I noticed that. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to stop a lot of the hacking. And this year is that to showcase that they don't want to talk about it. But of course, I know that's what they're doing. Yeah, since the VC is like online going to the servers, it, it gives you that little screen. But do you think it's a possibility? Because I was thinking about this today when I was at work. That they could throw out crew like for the holidays as some DLC? Or you just think they're going to hold it off till? I think, I think they're as a marketing strategy, I think that they're going to hold it off to 2K14 as a marketing strategy. Now, they've given association people and things like changing your sliders and stuff like that. That was one of the minor but big things that people that online gamed wanted to change their sliders. So, with that being said... Maybe next year they'll give them playbooks, saving your playbooks online and stuff like that. They gotta give you a little to make you get the game again. Yeah, I got you. You know, I like with two K, so yeah. you're saying they just hold stuff back on purpose. Basically. On purpose, it's, it's yeah. that simple. Um, two K eleven, they cut the servers off. Then they bring them back, say, "Oh my bad, you know what? We can't give give you crew this year, so we'll let you have it for another couple months." Oh, but we're gonna cut it because when two K thirteen comes out, we want everybody on blacktop mode. You know what I'm saying they they they're smart about their marketing plans. What yeah, they, they know they, they hold it out. They, they hold it out. They know. 14. Yeah, no doubt.
But when it comes to playing like seasons and playoffs and, and, and all of that, I'm not going to do none of that. How about you? Um, Probably not. <laughs> probably not, man. I can't. You know what? This is my career. I think it's consuming my life. You know, same here. Same here. I, it, I'm not even going to lie to you. It, it's so addictive. But speaking of addictive, let's jump into virtual currency. Now, I know this is a big thing that everybody has so many questions about, and uh, hopefully we can give these guys these answers. Now, yeah, I'm with it, man. It's a, I mean, this is probably one of the biggest parts of the game. Exactly. It's, it is the game. In the whole, it is the game. You earn virtual currency throughout every single mode, every single online game. It's just, it's unbearable how the VC rolls in. You get an achievement, you get VC. You play a game, you get VC. You win that game, you get VC. You go online and play a match, you get VC. You win, you get more VC. You go on my player, my career, you get VC. It's just VC rolling in. Now, it may not be much, but... It, for a couple of people that I do know personally, some of my friends, they said before they even went into my career, they had over 15,000 VC. Whoa. I said, what you went to the store and paid for? They said, what you talking about? Like They, they said don't... you was out there tricking on Broadway for VC. <laughs> exactly. I'm thinking in my mind, I'm saying, yo, these dudes don't went to the store and brought all this VC. They talking about, what is v... what store are you talking about? Like, these is real niggas. They like... Oh, I ain't know you could buy that shit. I was just playing online with niggas, giving niggas work. I'm like, oh, I'm like, so I went in the lab just like them. They told me, man, I got, I got fifteen thousand in one day. I said, okay, if you can do it, I can do it too. So currently, I went online, start playing more quick matches, and I got my VC up just like them. But what do you think about the whole overlook and outlook of VC? Do you think it's good or bad for the game? I think it's cool, man. I think you know the fact that you get it everywhere. But don't forget the fact that you need it for everything, though, in my career. Like, VC means everything. Like, you got to pick and choose, especially when you starting off, man. Your dude can't be super fly if you ain't got a lot of VC, man. You need to get your your skills up. So I do like that aspect of it. Like, you got you to gotta manage it like you manage your checkbook. <laughs> That's definitely true, man. I, I did the same exact thing when I came in. I made sure I had my shots, my layups. And I picked a few pregame rituals, nothing too much. But for the most part, I wanted to make sure that my attributes was right. So I got a few things. I ain't get no Adidas uh, undergar undershirt with plus five stamina or no knee brace with plus five this and plus two that. So, But when time rolls on, trust me, I will be going to the My Player store, getting my bread right and things of that nature. But what I do want to say to a lot of people that's having problems getting VC... If you can't get it, go buy it. If you're not good at this game, go purchase it. But what I will tell you is, you're going to be spending money. Don't think that 10,000 VC hack or whatever will help you. No. You're going to buy that 10,000 VC. You're going to put a couple attributes up, buy a couple signature skills, and then guess what? You're going to run out again. So if you want a 99 my player, just beware. beware. You're going to spend about, I would say, $150. If you want your my player to be decked out, it's that simple. So um, what do you, what do you think about? Are you are you for it? Do you like the the idea of it? The VC like uh, runs everything. I think it's a good strategy for them to have everybody play all the game modes that they spent their time making. You know what I mean now now you want to? I didn't want to check out Blacktop, but now I'll check it out and I'll probably like it. But the reason why I checked it out is because I wanted some more VC. It's like crack. It's cr yeah, crack crack and gold. It's gold crack. Literally, it's gold crack. It's gold crack. <laughs> like, oh man, it's so crazy because when I started the my player, right, and I got the VC after my first rookie showcase game, I'm like, a hundred and some VC. I said, okay, okay, okay. I went into the pre-draft interviews, got drafted by Portland, like first rip from the first try. I made sure, you know what, I'm not going to keep doing this over. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So I did the first try, did the first run, got drafted. And when I went in, I saw my contract. My contract was for 500 VC. And I was like, okay, so they've taken away skill points and they've taken away salary. And they've turned both things into VC. And it's nothing better than knowing what you're going to get from the VC side opposed to you having a million dollar contract and you trying to figure out, well, how much is a million dollar contract in VC? Yeah. So they've just, they basically dumbed it down. And made sure that you can get this from everywhere. Like you could pick, you know, just, just ooh, quick match. Let me get a little bit of that. 
Oh, exactly. Because right, I'm get... earning it just playing the homies. I'm like, okay, this is it's gonna help your boy out. Exactly. I'm you gonna know? be playing them anyway, so why not get some VC? Exactly. Like me, um, I just brought five signature skills for four thousand six hundred and fifty VC. And hey, they let you gift. Can you gift somebody um, VC? Because I'm, I'm gonna need you to run the VC. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, my balance says zero. It's a big ass zero. On my joint, like after I, the overdraft. <laughs> yeah, real rap. Like as soon as I got that signature skills, yo, I had fifty six left, and my on ball, what was it, on ball defense or I think like off off hand dribbling or something. One of those needed fifty six, and I say, you know what? Well, it's time to tap the bank. It's a rat. <laughs> That's how it goes. You living, you living uh, paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> hey, hey man, it's hard out here, man. Check the check. But uh, do you have any other thoughts on virtual currency? Nah, that's pretty much it, man. I think we pretty much covered it on that end. All right. Um, if everybody is still with us, this is our last topic. This is animations and presentation. This is of the entire game from intro to outro to game to flow. Let's go. <laughs> All right, man. I, you know, I got to get something up off my chest. I didn't even tell you I was going to talk about this, but a lot of people don't agree. Like my brother, a lot of people don't agree, but... I like the presentation of the game somewhat, but I'm a little Jay Z'd out, man. They, I mean, it was it's like that game. Two K thirteen is like one big Jay Z commercial. Yeah. The, the Ex- game come on. Executive producer, the, the baby. <laughs> yeah, allow me to reintroduce myself. Okay, that's cool because it's a dope intro, man. It goes with the song. That's all good. I don't know if I needed to see a Jay Z video when I, you know, when it comes on, but it's all good. Then it goes to the start screen. Then you got Ham, going Ham. Okay, that's another song Jay is on. Right. Then after I pressed start, it was like a, it was another Jay-Z song. And I was like, all right, man, this is going a little crazy. Then I played a, a game real quick. I was just playing a computer just to test it out. And that Run, uh, Run This Town video came out with Jay. I was like, all right, man, I'm done. You done? You said you had enough of hope? <laughs> <laughs> I like to do, but man, it's like a big, com- it's like a big Jay Z commercial. Yeah, man, um, that executive produced. Like, my, my brother was saying he was like, well, he executive produced the game, so I want, you know, I did want him all in the game. I was like, all right, well, you know, it's just, I guess it's just personal preference, but I, I wish they would have toned down Jay a little bit. Yeah, like Jay definitely comes on every minute of every second. Me when I'm playing the game, I mute the game. Like, literally, like, I'll mute my TV and just play the game. I don't need to hear no none of the players, none of the commentary. I just go tunnel vision because, like like you've done, you've played a lot of games. And every time you turn the system on, hold. Press start, hold. You go to my career, hold. You start the game. As soon as you start the game and it, and it fades to black, here comes hold. As soon as as soon as the presentation comes off and and they go to the to the arena, hold. Oh yeah. <laughs> as soon as you run a couple plays, you get subbed out. Hold. You get subbed back in. Hold for a few seconds. You have time report. Hold. <laughs> like like it's, it's yeah, yo. I mean, at the end of the game, I was just throwing up the rock. I wasn't even playing no more. Real, 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 it's the dynasty. <laughs> like that's just how crazy it is. But when it comes to the presentation, I like it. Because sometimes you don't see it all the time. Like, you might get the Blow the Whistle track. You might get the I Ain't No Joke dream with Eric B and Rakim. Like, they really turn this game into a music video slash studio session. Like, yeah, this is exactly this is, is this is Hove's, what, 12th album right here? <laughs> because it is on the disc. <laughs> so, this definitely got to be, this, this must be a compilation album of his, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, man. But the um, the thing is, the presentation is it's just all about personal preference, man. Yeah. Like, like the 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 screen every time you press start, you see the equalizers pulsating. Yeah. That's not my cup of tea. But some people like it, so you know it's not. You can't say it's bad. It's just whether you know if you if that's your thing or not. But I could do without these menus vibrating, pulsating every time you pause the game or you at the <laughs> at the start screen. It's like enough, man, with the equalizer. I could feel you on that. But um, I guess that goes to the presentation because it's all about hoes. But let's move into the animation now. I just want to get one thing off my chest. I'm loving the animations. How about you? That's where the game stands out, man. It's like, you know, man. You know I got a history of breaking down games, man. I'm, a, I'm more of a reviewer than an entertainer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, man, I, I just, I'm analyzing this game. I'm looking at these animations. Whatever 2K is doing with capturing these animations they need to keep doing it, man. It's like, 
You know what I mean? Everything just moves right, flows right, man. The contact looks right. People's jump. Everything is right. Everything. Now, I'm going to break a few things down. This is not my cup of tea, but I will. Now, from the intro, you see when Chris Paul crossed somebody over, and as dude is rolling, holding his ankle, Chris Paul is pulling up for the jump shot. And you know it's cash. That animation alone tells you that this game is out of its mind. When I saw that animation in the intro, I said, that can't be done in the game. That's impossible. You can do it. You can do You can do every trailer that these guys have been coming out with, every commercial, all of this shit that just happens to be in the game. Where? When did 2K say, oh yeah, fuck it, let's just give them everything we got. Like, with this animation system, it is crazy. The ankle breakers look amazing. The picks, have you have you ever done a pick with a uh, with a with a brick wall? Nah, you know what I saw it on the um on, on one of the trailers where dude just falls out, but I haven't I haven't ran into that. Son, trailer. I ran into a brick wall. Listen, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> like literally, like dude spotted up. He set that screen. You know me, I'm in intense D. I got my turbo hold held, and I'm sliding over. Dude hit me like 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 they said it's a brick wall. And even going in for Euro steps and stuff like that, you can beat the D or the D can come back and get you. The 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 blocks, oh my god. This is one yeah. Oh listen. I didn't want to cut you off, but yeah, you just struck a chord. Go ahead. Because I sent one into the stands a couple times. Listen, Shakedown 2012 told these guys while we were in San Fran, he said, Look, we need amazing blocks and we need the sound back. Because in the last few years, 2K took the sound out. So every time you get a block, you don't hear anything. But this year, son, Dwight Howard punched something. That joint was like, poof. And that joint just went into the stands. I, I had Andrew Bynum. Somebody thought it was sweet with a runner in the lane. Poof. That joint just went down the other end of the court and we out. Like, these, these animations look so good. They look fluid. And they're not like botched animations with 2K12, how you get sucked in and, you know, you got to do what you want to do. Man, listen, I hit the analog four times. It was an in and out. That's two. It was one crossover and then another crossover back to the next direction. After I was done, he was sitting on his ass. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm pulling up for the jump shot. You know, I don't, I don't want to go in. I don't want to embarrass you by going in with a dunk. I'm going to pull up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm laughing so hard that I missed the shot. Like, it, it was just, it was crazy. Like, sometimes you get so hype in the game that you can't, you, you just forget you're playing the game. Like, that's how crazy these animations are, man. I love it. Yeah, re yeah realistic. Another thing, you you just talked about, like, the sound. Actually, you said you don't play with the sound, but if you do have the sound, man, the sound on the court is really cool, man. Like, like that pick you got hit with, you can hear dudes yelling on the court now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you can hear them. Like, it sounds like real NBA chatter. Like, they had a mic courtside and recorded all of that stuff you hear, and they put it in the game. You can hear a lot of that stuff. The sound on the court is amazing, actually. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm going to fix a couple of my levels inside of the presentation on my player, and I'm going to turn the player chatter up in the sound effects, and I'm going to have that, you know, try to drown out the commentary. Yeah, they, I, did a, they did a good job of it. Because also, like, the commentary itself is not bad at all. Yo, I, like, I played a few games with the sound, and they were talking about my my player. Like, they have commercials for your my player during the breaks. Like, I yeah, was... Yeah, the, the, the commentary's off the chain, man. It's like... Sometimes you be like, man, how'd they do this to where it matches up so perfect? Um, they... Listen, all I want to say is, 2K... I will say that you guys have done a good job this year, but there are a few things that you guys need to tweak and patch. I will not say that this game is perfect. I don't care about all these 9.1s, these 10s, these 9.9s from all these game and review people that they're giving you. From a real gamer, I give this game about an 8.3. That's, that's yeah, what I'm I'll give. I'm going to give it, let me see. You said 8.3. I'm going to give yeah. it higher than that, man, because I feel like they've just put so much and it's so fun that you know what I mean? The bang for my sixty dollars is gonna be crazy. The amount of hours I'm gonna put into it, I'm gonna give it like an eight point nine. They got some, you know a few things to work on, like you know the, the people that's giving it the nine, the ten. Cause uh, I think PlayStation Magazine gave it a ten. Yeah. Like 
those, those people are not people who play the game year round. Those people are people who test the game, make sure the modes work right, and that's you know. Then they give it a ten. But the people that play the game year round, there's no way you could give this game a ten. No. But I'm gonna give it an eight point nine, man. I'm gonna say that they redeemed themselves from two K twelve without doubt. Yeah. That's not even a question. Yeah, the intro definitely goes with it, man. Let them reintroduce themselves because they've done a good job. Like I will say that. But um, the time is running out, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys like this commentary, dual commentary, whatever you want to call it. This is a review. We basically broke down 2K13 in one video. Hey, Dave, listen. All I want to say is thank you for stopping by. If y'all don't know who regular Dave 2975 is, go inside the description. Go to his channel. Hit that button. You dig me? But, Dave, I'm going to let you take yourself out. Yo, I don't really got an really outro, man. You, you was doing such a good job, and then I just messed it up just now. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I was saying, um, definitely hit us up on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, at iPod King Carter and at Regular Dave 2975. Oh, yeah, we be going at, man, that's where it goes down on Twitter. Twitter. Because that's where, I mean, this man, Carter, the only dude I know that literally, I, I don't know where he get the time from, but he hits, like, everybody back on Twitter. <laughs> I'm like, I got five Twitter followers, and I can't hit them back like Carter does. <laughs> Hey man, I try man because it's so hard to get back to YouTube messages in the comments in the comment section because you see so much trolling in your comment section and then you see so many sent video, this person sent you this video or this person wants to do this. You see so much of that in your inbox and in your comment section on YouTube. Twitter is just my outlet. You know, people don't come to Twitter and say, Oh, can you check out my video? No, they don't do that. They actually want to interact with you because that's what they have came to YouTube for. So when it comes to Twitter, man, that's where I'm at. It comes straight to the iPhone. The iPhone is on 24-7, but I do be going to sleep sometimes. <laughs> but, when? But it, when? Team no sleep? <laughs> uh, look, but I'm saying, though, I tr listen, all right, half an hour naps. Nah, man, I can't do it. I need my eight hours, bro. I'm old. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I got that young blood, man. I got that B5 in me, that B12. All these hey, that's, the, that's, that's the difference between my one video a day and your five videos a day. <laughs> you know what? That's how it go, man. <laughs> but definitely uh, hit us up, man. What I want you guys to do, and if you guys are still here, please go inside the description. There's a lot of info about what type of game modes I play, my difficulties, um, information about my mod players, and also information about regular day 2975. So go in the description now. Please and thank you. <laughs> also, check out Game Face Studios, y'all. But we're out of here. Tell them tell bye, Dave, or something. Yo, this is how I do it on my channel. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>